Everything that you say or do in a relationship with a woman has a positive or negative chain reaction effect. For example, a negative chain reaction effect is where a man is in a relationship with a woman and he becomes insecure about his attractiveness to her. He starts to doubt whether he is good enough for her and begins to feel as though she is more attractive than him and she could probably find herself a better man. As a result, he begins to change his behavior. He becomes insecure, he might become a bit clingy and needy, and he just won't be that confident guy that she met at the start. She then notices the change in his confidence and self-esteem and it turns her off because women are turned off by emotional weakness in men. She then stops being as affectionate as she used to be and she starts to become a bit distant. He then notices that she's not being as affectionate and is being distant, which makes him feel even more insecure about his attractiveness to her. As a result, the relationship starts to fall apart and soon enough she says that she doesn't feel the same way anymore and wants some space or she cheats on him or breaks up with him. So it all started from that initial mistake of becoming insecure and letting it snowball into something that became bigger and bigger and caused more damage in the relationship. Now let's look at a positive chain reaction effect. A guy is in a relationship with a woman and he maintains his confidence in his attractiveness to her. She notices his maintained confidence and it maintains and builds on her respect and attraction for him. She knows that pretty much every other guy that she has met has become insecure at some point, yet the guy that she's with now is able to maintain his confidence. He hasn't become insecure. As a result, the respect, attraction and love that she feels for him deepens over time rather than fading away. The thing is, when we're growing up, we don't get taught how to have a successful relationship with a woman when we're at school or at university. You have to figure it out on your own, learn from people who know what they're doing, or if you're lucky, you have a role model in your life like a father or an uncle or a big brother who understands women and teaches you all about it. At the end of the day though, a guy needs to know what he's doing with women. Otherwise, he'll be creating negative chain reaction effects that will destroy his relationships. It doesn't matter if the relationship starts out well and he and the woman go on nice dates and they have great sex and they go on holidays or vacations. That doesn't mean anything if later on he is setting off negative chain reaction effects that ruin her respect, attraction and love for him. For example, rather than becoming insecure and becoming clingy, some guys become careless with their woman. They start taking her for granted and treating her badly and just expect her to put up with it. Some women do put up with being taken for granted and treated badly if they're really attracted to their guy, but eventually it will just be too much for her. She'll get to the point where she'll realize that she's not really being respected and she could find herself another guy and be loved and respected so she breaks up with the guy who's taking her for granted. Okay, so to make things really clear, here are two examples of positive and negative chain reaction effects. The first example is a positive chain reaction effect. A guy remains confident in his relationship with a woman. As a result, the woman's respect, attraction and love deepens over time. The negative chain reaction effect is where a guy becomes insecure in his relationship with a woman. As a result, the woman's respect, attraction and love for him fades away over time. The next example. A positive chain reaction effect, a guy remains in control of his emotions when his woman throws a tantrum. He uses humor to change her mood and stop her from creating drama. Her respect, attraction and love for him deepens over time. Negative chain reaction effect, a guy loses control of his emotions when his woman throws a tantrum. He gets into a battle with her and her mood worsens. When that happens often enough, the woman's respect, attraction and love fades away over time. What you need to understand is that you don't need to be perfect, but you do need to make sure that you are in control of the chain reaction effects in your relationship. For example, when a man is in a relationship with a woman, he will sometimes say or do something that he thinks is fine, but really upsets her. He won't know why it has upset her, but it really has upset her. She may then stop being affectionate and she might become distant and she might start changing her behavior and treating him badly. He might then think, you know, what is wrong with this woman? Why is she being like this? Yet what she's waiting for is for him to understand 
what has caused the problem and to begin to change that. The thing is, that annoys some men because they think, why are women so complicated? Why don't women just say what they mean and tell us men what to do in a relationship? The thing is though, women don't want to be the leader, the boss, or the guide in a relationship. She wants a man who understands how to be the man in a relationship. She doesn't want to have to say, hey, when I'm being bitchy towards you, don't put up with it. Say this and do this and put me back in my place, but do it in a loving way too. Don't be a prick about it, but put me back in my place. Right? She doesn't want to have to say that. She wants a man who understands how to be a man, and if he doesn't understand how to do it, she wants him to go and figure it out and then start doing it. Most women are reactive in a relationship, right? They react to what the man does. If the man creates a relationship dynamic where the love is flowing and she's respecting him and she feels attracted to him and she's a good woman to him, a woman goes along with that. However, if a man creates a relationship dynamic based on insecurity and lack of trust, then she goes along with that as well. She reacts to his lead. Right? He's setting off those negative chain reaction effects of mistrust and insecurity, and she allows it to exist. Right? She doesn't say, hey, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sit down, let's have a conversation here. All right, I notice that you're becoming insecure. What I need from you is to be a man who's emotionally strong and confident. If you become insecure, then I'm gonna to start to lose respect and attraction for you, and the relationship is going to begin to fall apart. So I need you to remain strong. Be a strong man for me. Be someone that I can look up to and respect. She doesn't want to take on that role because it makes her feel like his mother or big sister or teacher in life about how to be a man. She just wants a man who understands how to be a man in a relationship or a man who will go and figure it out and then start doing that. When a guy figures out how to be the man in a relationship and starts doing it, he sets off positive chain reaction effects and the woman reacts to that by being a better woman for him. She respects him, she feels sexually attracted to him, she's in love with him and she treats him well. Okay, so just to make this part of the video clear, here's how it works. When a man makes some small changes and tweaks to what he's saying and doing around his woman, she changes. For example, if a woman is being distant and isn't being affectionate, she will then change and start being more loving and affectionate towards him. The reason why is that most women are reactive. They follow the man's lead. If a man creates the relationship dynamic that results in her wanting to be affectionate and loving, she will go along with that. However, if a man creates the relationship dynamic that causes her to be distant and not want to be affectionate, she will do that. She is simply reacting to what he is saying and doing in the relationship. What a woman wants is for a man to create the type of relationship dynamic that results in her feeling respect, attraction and love for him. If that isn't there, a woman will wait and hope that the man creates that. When he does, she will change. She'll start being a better woman for him. She'll be more affectionate, she'll be more loving, and she'll treat him with respect. However, if he doesn't fix the problem and continues to set off negative chain reaction effects, the woman will become increasingly unhappy and she will break up with him. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you'd like to learn more, I recommend that you watch or listen to my program, Make Her Love You For Life. When you watch or listen to the program, you will learn exactly what to say and do to make your woman respect you, feel sexually attracted to you, and be totally in love with you for life. You will learn how to effortlessly set off positive chain reaction effects in your relationship. When you do that, your relationship literally gets better and better every day, every week, every month, and every year that you're together. Your woman becomes more respectful, more attracted, and more in love with you all the time. When you are setting off positive chain reaction effects in a relationship with a woman, her respect, attraction, and love deepens over time. It doesn't fade away. She becomes an increasingly better woman for you. Right? She is always trying to impress you and maintain your interest and be a good woman for you. She feels so much love, so much attraction, and so much respect for you that it actually makes her happy and gives her pleasure to be a good woman for you. That's what happens when you are in control of the chain reaction effects in your relationship. You set off positive chain reaction effects, and you and her become one of those couples that other people look at and think, how do they do it? Why are they so happy? Why don't I have what they have? 